Hi, it's Dr. Ginger Bratzel here, the mobile marketing dentist, and I'm going to share some information with you about marketing in general and what a good advertisement looks like. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a website you're doing, a print ad, a mobile marketing publication. There's some standard rules that you need to follow to make sure you get heard. And um, there's some common mistakes most dental practices fall into, and so we're going to kind of just dismiss those and give you good information so you don't make those mistakes again in your marketing so you can get better results. So that's real easy. The, the biggest thing um, on any advertisement, so again, whatever it is, website, direct mail, you know, postcard, anything what is going on, the biggest thing on there, we consider that essentially the headline. And the cardinal mistake I see more and more practices doing, almost every practice does this, it's almost an exemption if I don't see this, the biggest thing on there is always the name of the office. And I know you worked hard for your office. It is a special place. People love to be there. But in advertising, when you're trying to attract new patients, it's not about you. It's about them. So they don't need to know that information yet. You need to relate to them. You need to connect with them. And I always use the, what I call the R word, and that's relationship. So you need something to bind them in and something um, that kind of agitates them. Um, I've heard it called... Uh, stabbing them, twisting it a little bit, something that's really bothering them. People are quicker to move away from pain than move to pleasure. So are you embarrassed by your smile? That's a headline. It asks a question, it's involvement, and it's a painful because if you're embarrassed, it's like someone calling you out and you got their attention. So that's a very, very most important thing on all your marketing is to make sure you get their attention first and not by how great your uh, office is and how great the, the name of your office or your wonderful picture or all your credentials, which are very, very important to delivering care form. But right here, right now, it's all about them and being able to give them. Um, the secret to a beautiful smile revealed, you know, fill in the blanks here. Are you embarrassed? Are you concerned? Um, ask a question because then they have to answer it in their head. And subconsciously, they're like, huh, huh, huh. Yeah, that's what gets them involved. So. On your go through all your marketing, your yellow page ads. If you're still doing yellow page ads, if you're doing Facebook ads, it nowhere on there should it be about you. The biggest thing on there should be the headline, and it's asking them a question, something to involve, and make it very specific. Are you looking for a dentist? It's vanilla. You should be very targeted. Are you embarrassed by your smile? Do you hate your crooked teeth? Be targeted when you ask it, because that's who you're going after is a certain patient. You don't want everybody off that one advertisement. The advertisement's job is to advertise and collect one type of person right now, one type of patient. Go easy on them, because you're not a laundry list of services. You don't do dentures, root canals, Invisalign, crowns, veneers, blah, blah, blah. You might do that in your practice, but you're not McDonald's. You don't want to give them a menu. You're a specialist in your field. So when you do your headlines, make sure it's specific to that. And that's the easiest thing you can do on all your marketing is add a great involving patient headline to all your marketing and you will see an increase in bump in response time. We're going to go through this series and we're going to take marketing and advertisements and tear them apart and we're going to give you tips and, and tidbits every little week for the next few weeks. So be looking out for those. So again, I'm Dr. Ginger Brassel, the mobile marketing dentist, the marketing dentist because marketing is not a bad word and we love it. So take care and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.